can you say good morning? Say good morning. Yes, so it is 8.44. I've been up since 8 o'clock. Everybody, uh, Ben woke up at 8 o'clock. Charlotte woke up at like 8.15. Um, I stayed up to one o'clock in the morning last night watching, bin, binge watching the Vampire Diaries. Yeah, so that's what's going on. A lot of you guys said I need to slow down. Um, one person was complaining in my CBS video that I yawn too much. <coughs> Funny thing about that, I hardly ever yawn. Like I, I'll yawn like right when I wake up in the morning. But uh, you guys see, I don't yawn when I do my vlog, my videos in the car. I don't know if it's just something in the basement that makes me yawn, but she got like, she commented like four times saying it was so annoying that I was yawning. And I was like trying to hide it, but it's just beyond my control. I can't c control me yawning. And like, I can't just got, keep going, stopping and going and stopping and going with the video. It takes forever. I like to do it all in one shot. Yeah. But uh, yeah. yeah, so it's like, I'm sorry. I wasn't even tired. So I don't know if it's just something in my basement, but she's like, you need to get that checked out. And I'm like, it's something out of my control. It just usually happens when you guys, you don't realize this, but I, when I do a video, I talk for about 10 to 20 minutes, non, non-stop. I don't get to just sit and like take a breath. Like these videos I do, but those videos, I don't just get to sit and take a breath. It's just non-stop talking and people just don't realize that. Yeah. So today it, or it's 8.46. Um, I have mail at the post office that I have to get that you guys, two you guys sent me coupons. So. No yet, no honey. So I don't know if I'm gonna leave today to go to the post office and maybe go get myself a sandwich in my area. That's pretty much the only thing I'm gonna do, but I wanna get some stuff done today. Yes, I am keeping busy, but if you guys are new to my vlogs and stuff, you kinda would notice that, um, Hold on, my thing is making me blurry and I don't want it. Um, if you guys have noticed, why is this doing this? Okay, if you guys have noticed that I, um, I was really depressed, I think I was depressed, like, I don't know if it was in January or February, but I was like, just, I didn't want to do anything. I, I just, I think October, I think it really hit me, I think. I don't know, that was when I was pregnant with Charlotte. But uh, I just don't want to do a lot of stuff. There's a ton of stuff that I just have no ambition to doing. And I just need to do it. And I was like depressed. Like I was just didn't want to do anything. I was tired all the time. Just worn out. But, you know, I went on medication. I got help from my doctor. I went on medication that I used to be on years ago. Um, back before, or back when Grandma and I started dating. And I do feel like it's helped me out. It's helped me, you know, stay awake. It's helped me with my eating habits, which is a good thing. I feel better on it. I feel like a better person. Um, I still have, like, zero ambition to do things. But, you know, I have to do a little bit at a time. Um, I just need a day where I just don't have the kids to, so I can get some cleaning done. But it's kind of hard with, you know, COVID happening. My mom's going to come down next week. So when she comes down, I'll be getting a ton of stuff done because I don't know what it is, but you know, I just want to get the house clean for when she gets here. And then with Ben's birthday party, we're having it at a park, but in case the weather's bad, we'll have it at the house. So I don't know what's going on, but like I have laundry to do. So I'm going to try to work on laundry today. I'm going to try to get a couple things, um, done today i did design a shirt for somebody but they didn't need it anymore which is not a big deal um so i'm gonna do a couple more designs i want to make like i did post the wreaths on the thing today but um sorry my cat's just being weird she does this all the time Paris, no honey um so i think today my goal is to get some of the laundry done and just kind of pick up a little bit and then maybe get one or two projects done or started actually I'm getting my jewels today that I ordered so I think I'm gonna start my cup for Queen I'm just gonna work on it a little bit and then I'm gonna work on another I'm gonna have like three different cups to work on oh, thank you now I'm yawning but it's because I just woke up but 
yeah, so that's what my thing is. My cat is hacking. It's Paris, stop. She likes to choke herself. And then she sits there. It's like, Paris, stop. So, yeah. So I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to pick up a little bit. And then I'm going to start working on my queen cup. Get dressed. Paris! I have four children, you guys, and this is what I go through every single day. But well, I will hey, you guys. You guys. So it is 11:11. I am currently going to go to the post office real quick, drop off these packages because my regular mail lady is on vacation, and this week she told us. So I, um, I just want to drop it off at the post office because I'll feel a little bit better dropping it off than trying to stalk the mail person because I don't know what time her replacement will come she usually comes like around this time whoa i'm like really whited out she really she usually comes around this time um but last time we've had somebody you know they come at the most random times and i don't want to sit there and like stalk the mail person so i am just gonna go run i know it takes a long time to talk like that i'm just gonna run to the post office real quick because it's right near me and then i'm going to subway because i'm not a big fan of subway but subway is the only one that's near me um, but I'm really craving like some sub sandwiches. So that is what I'm gonna do Plus I have to go to the post office because uh, two of you guys sent me some mail, so I have to go get it So yeah, and then when I get home, I'm gonna um, Get some stuff done, but I also posted about six different items for sale um, on Facebook Marketplace, so we'll see if I get any bites for that stuff. I sell the stuff cheap enough just to get rid of it, as long as I'm just getting some money back, but I just need to sell a little bit at a time, not everything all at once, but a little bit at a time, and then if I don't sell any of this stuff, then I will um, sell it at my garage sale that we're gonna have at the end of September, beginning of October. So I'm gonna focus on driving, but I will catch you guys back I well, home. hey you guys, I'm totally out of focus. It is 325. I called my mom today and I picked up and I vacuumed the whole floor. Benjamin, before you go outside, you're picking up all these Legos. I had this Wait. place, I had this place picked up to a T. And then I told my mom, hold on, I'm gonna share this outside. I told my mom that, uh, I clean up the place. She's like, you better like, you know, take a picture so it lasts longer. And I'm like, yeah. So Ben, you cannot go outside until you pick up those Legos. So I had everything picked up and now it's just like, it's a disaster again, but I'm gonna get on the kids in a little bit, but he can't play with the neighbor lady until he picks up his Legos. So I was working on her cup. I was kind of hesitant on it. I'm like, I don't think it's gonna go good together, but it actually does. I really like it. Um, so this is much as I got done. This is like an hour, an hour's work right here. An hour just doing that. So, yeah. So that's what's going on. Still waiting for the mail to come. Amy, I got your package in the pack or in the mailbox. Um, I did have one person contact me um, of the stuff that I sold um, from my Michaels stuff that I had a couple weeks ago. I sold, I posted some like, I think I posted like six items and I had one person message me saying, hey, I'll take it. So that's awesome. I have another shirt I gotta make, which it's super easy to make. And then I had a friend, one of my friends actually messaged me and see if I could make her a sign. So I gotta make a sign. I gotta look for something like that. But the kids wanna play outside for a little bit, so I'm gonna let them play for a little bit. Charlotte's in the yard and I'm watching her. So I will put you guys back when we're inside. Okay, guys, so it is 6.11. I did pick up, it's a mess all over again. I'm making him pick it up before he goes to bed. But it is, like I said, 6-11. We just got our mail about 15 minutes ago. I had a package in there. I had my Netflix DVD and Graham had a letter or a, something to mail to somebody. We had our flag up. And I had shopkins. They didn't even take our freaking outgoing mail. It's like, we have the flag up. So, I took it out of the mailbox because I don't, my neighborhood, my area doesn't get broken into, but the area does. And I just don't feel comfortable leaving stuff overnight in my mailbox with my flag up. I just, why, why? So tomorrow, I'm gonna have the mail in there tomorrow. And they better take it. Because our mail lady's on vacation right now, but they better take that mail. 
because if there's not, I'm gonna call and complain to somebody. Cause like, we usually get our mail at 11. It is six. I understand she's on vacation, I understand that. But like, really? Well, I could go drop it off, but I don't think I need to go out of my way to go drop something off. Well, she'll not be back until next week, so I don't know what I'm going to do. But we'll see what happens tomorrow and see if they take anything. Otherwise, I will stand out there when I hear them and make sure they take it. Because what happens if that was a bill that needed to be postmarked by a certain day? Like, you know, I understand... I don't understand, like, you know, I don't do, I don't mail a lot of things out. Mostly I've been mailing packages, but, like, really, really? So, ah, uh, hold on, honey. So, right now, um, Ben has to pick up his stuff. I just got, oh, and yeah, my package was supposed to be, it was on its way to my town, because we share a, um, a post office with another post, with another town, because our towns are so small. It was on my way out for delivery and then somehow it went back to the post office again. Like, I don't understand like who's doing the mail, but still working on the cup, you guys. I'm almost done with the name and then once I get the name done, that's the easy part. So, I'm gonna continue. Oh, I just put the cup in the jewels. I'm just not having it. Hello, I'm letting you guys go. everybody. It is 9, 18, 16, 9, 16. Um, we are getting ready to go to bed. Ben's um, getting tired. Charlotte has her pajamas on. Everybody is getting ready to go to bed. I am not. I'm going to stay up and relax. Daddy's going to be home kind of late tonight, which is fine. So after I complained about my mail, you guys, um, I was selling something. Totally an idiot. Didn't even realize who was picking it up. Sorry, Kristen. Um, it was one of my friends. Cause I like she messaged me through Marketplace, so it didn't show like her profile or her last name. So it was like I thought it was just a, a normal, a different person. But so as I was greeting her outside, I saw another mail truck go by, and it was like 6:15, 6:20, maybe give or take. And um, I think it was around that time. I don't remember. Uh, I think it was around, it was a little after 6, because the other mail came right before that. And I said, stop, I have mail for you. And she's like, really? And I says, yeah. I says, somebody came and dropped off mail, but they didn't take the mail. She's like, yeah, that's weird. So she took our mail. So Amy, your package is in the mail now. And uh, then, like, shortly after that, five minutes later, the UPS truck comes. And I'm like, wow, I've never seen the UPS truck come after our house after 6 p.m. Usually those guys are here at our house around like between 1 and 3. But I'm just like, I don't know if they, and it was a guy I've never seen before. So it wasn't like our normal 2 or 3 UPS guys that we have. But it was just like, so weird, just the mail today. But uh, it's always when I expect something that I really, really want. Like my jewels is when I have problems um, with the mail. But, you guys, I did finish the queen part. I think it actually looks pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can kind of see it. But, I love the way it looks. I thought, I was like, I don't know if this is going to go, but it actually really does. So now I'm starting to work on the actual cup. So that will that'll be a whole lot faster to do. So I'm going to get that done. And then i got to work on, what, three more jeweled cups? Three. So, if you guys do need a cup or anything, there is. I can work on some stuff. I can't constantly keep jeweling all the time because that takes a lot of work. But I kind of do it in an order as people request. But if I do have an Etsy order, they have to come first. Um, like, I'll still do your guys' stuff. But if I do have an Etsy order, I have to do that, like, first. Because otherwise I get docked. But I do have it where it takes about two, three to four weeks to get this. So I'm hoping to finish this before I go on my little trip for the weekend so then I can mail it out next week. So that is what I am hoping for. I got another Etsy order today. Um, it was just like these little holders that I sell. So something easy. Um, but uh, yeah, my house is clean again, kind of. It's cleaner than what it was when I was recording last. But I wanted to clean the countertop off a little bit today. Didn't get a chance to do that. The, tab the table's a lost cause. But I did clean around my desk a little bit. I did, you know, vacuum twice. I did get some stuff done. Did some laundry, but I never put it away. So tomorrow I plan on putting it away. Um, 
I'll have Graham help me with it tomorrow because he needs to help me with some of this stuff. It's not just me. But, yeah, so that is what's going on. My birthday is a nine queen. Yeah, and then I had one of my other friends message me to make her a sign for her, so I got to figure out a design for her, so that's what I'm going to do for her. But other than that, I feel like I didn't get a lot of stuff done, but I feel like I did get successful. I got successful, you know. So that is what's going on. I'm going to get these kids ready for bed. I'm going to sit down and... I'm playing with Baby Shark. Hey, you play with Baby Shark. I'm going to sit and look, work on this. I'm probably hopefully to like stop when I get past the queue. That's as far as I want to go. So loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. So even if you guys want like a jeweled cup and you want the stainless steel look you can just do your name like there's there's options not to just do that just like like a Starbucks cup you can do just do your name in a Starbucks cup like I kind of want to been doing that but I am gonna do a hocus pocus Starbucks cup and I'm still gonna do a regular hocus pocus cup so like I said you guys I have a long list of stuff that I want to make but um, no and I'm not you know I just keep myself busy because it keeps me happy. It keeps me out about. It keeps me from binge eating. Graham wants to see if I can get up to down to 170 pounds by the end of the year. So that's eight pounds. I'm now 178, you guys. So that's eight pounds that I need to use or lose. And I think I'm going to do it before. I, I really want to get down. My goal weight is 150. Um, that's what I was five years ago. Actually, six years ago because Ben's turning six. Um, so that's what I used to be is 150 pounds. So getting there, but that's why I'm keeping busy because then I'm not like binge eating. I'm not sitting there eating nothing but junk. I just... You know, I'm trying to keep a little bit healthier. I've cut back on soda, like I told you guys. But I'm going to get kitty, cow, kitty cocktail wasted when Graham and I go out to eat. And I forgot to make... Oh, crap. I forgot to call someplace. I'll call him tomorrow. And I forgot to call for Ben's doctor's appointment. So, Alexa, can you remind me to call for Ben's doctor's appointment tomorrow at 9 a.m.? Okay. I'll remind you tomorrow at 9 a.m. Alexa, can you remind me tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. to call the restaurant? Okay, I'll remind you tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. You know, fun thing about her, Graham and I refused to get to use one of those like we, we got this free time ago, I find where that works. yeah so we refuse to use her um because i feel like you know the, the, it's eavesdropping on you but it's like whatever you know the phone eavesdrops on you there's so many things that can eavesdrop on you so when we got our doorbell we got it for free and we were going to get rid of it and i'm just like let's just plug it in and let's just have it to play music and you know what she is awesome she farts for you that's fine that's fine she farts when you want her to fart. Like, there's that. I also now have her connected to my Netflix, so if I need to add a Netflix DVD to my account, I can ask her to do that. Um, but there's like some games that we haven't played, but I just like it. Um, as long as the B-O-B, B-O-Y doesn't O-R-D-E-R -E from it, we're totally fine. Totally fine. He does know how to add stuff to a cart, but that's it. He thought, he's like, yeah, I'm getting stuff I ordered from Amazon. And I'm like, well, how'd you pay for it? I didn't pay for it. Well, then you didn't order it, kid. So, yeah. So, anyways, we will see you guys tomorrow for a pre-birthday day. Yes, I don't know what's going on, but uh, that's all I'm going to say. I will see you guys all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye-bye.